Fill me up, God. Fill 
Fill me up Till I overflow I wanna cross I wanna cross Over Fill me up Till I overflow Cause I wanna cross over I wanna cross over Can you give God praise? Somebody let me hear you give God praise. Are you still saved after working through that traffic jam? Ask your neighbor on both sides there, are you still saved? Are you, are you still saved? They don't know what I'm doing. I know Pastor Todd and them probably don't know why is he up here. Um, I'm not supposed to do anything today but preach. I, didn't, I haven't planned any banquets. I didn't plan any of these services, and I'm supposed to enjoy it. Um, it's supposed to be an honorary transitional service, but uh, since I'm half of the one they're honoring, I'm going to take an executive privilege while I'm still pastor for the last few minutes. I got a few minutes left of my tenure and I'm going to exercise my rights. There's a little story. If you'd, stand, if you'd stand right there, because we're not going to get in a hurry. We're going to savor this moment because the world is watching. The world is watching right now. This thing's, being this thing's being streamed over secular networks right now. This is amazing. When people, and I'm sure he has his own stories and you'll get to hear them in time. When I was on those airplanes back and forth last week, I was in eight cities in five days. I preached eight times in six days. And it's east coast, west coast, and sleep's all messed up. And I, I stay out there just long enough to get used to that. And by the time I get a good night's sleep, I'd have to get on a plane, come back. I mean, and, and we're on grinding out details, probably close to a million dollars in lawyer fees. Um, it's more than you could imagine. So many moving parts, so many logistics. And I didn't know Miss Tasha Cobb was coming today. And right when I was coming out here, she snuck in the back door and she touched me. Now, he might have known it. I didn't know it. But uh, she's, she's my number one gospel artist, in case you didn't know. And Ms. Tasha, I need to tell you, since you're going to be at this house too, every time I was in an airplane and I would get afraid, <laughs> and I did. And I would look out the airplane one and I'd say, Ron Carpenter, what are you? doing 
what are you doing? I would put my earphones in. I would grab my bag and I would get my phone. And I would hit for your glory. I will do anything. I need you to help her. You can throw it, but I'm going I'm to sit down and I'm going to enjoy this. Would you for me, my last praise and worship set, when she gets through, take it back over and do what you do. But I, I just need to hear you sing that song. And I just need to stand there and cry. So Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry, cause I'm desperately waiting. Be where you are. Come on. I'll cross the hardest desert. I'll travel near or far. I said, y'all, for your glory. Raise it up now. I will do anything just to see. Say, Lord, if I find favor, say, Lord, if I find favor in your sight, say, Lord, please, Lord, please, hear my heart's cry. Shout this out, say, I'm desperately waiting just to be.
I don't understand just to see you to behold you as my king. Let's sit together, y'all, for your glory. I will do anything just to see. Gotta be where you are for Lord. Can I tell you this, Apostle? I was it was 2006. I was at a leadership conference, and the Lord told me it was time for me to leave my father and go to Atlanta. I had nothing in Atlanta, I didn't have a job, I didn't have nothing. And I said, He said, You have four months to move and go to Atlanta, and I didn't understand why. And so when I got there, I was kicking and screaming and crying. I didn't want to leave my daddy. And I got to Atlanta, I walked into a church, and the worship leader started saying, for your glory. And I lifted my hands and I said, God, if it makes me uncomfortable, if I don't understand it, I just want to be where you are. So the fact that you asked me to sing this this morning, it just registered. I, I understand. Because my prayer all of these years has been, I don't understand what you're doing right now, but I want to be where I don't have to understand what you're doing right now, but I gotta be where you are. I'm talking to some people in this room. God is instructing you to do some stuff that you don't understand. But I dare you lift up your hands and open up your mouth in this moment and tell them, I just want to be where you are. I just gotta be where you are. I just want to be where you are. Amazing God. In your presence is where I want to be. In your presence is where I want to be. In your presence is where I've got to be. I want to be where you are, Jesus. Hey. of the Lord. There is fullness of joy. There is fullness of joy in your presence, God. The joy of the Lord is here. I said the joy of the Lord is in this place. Come on, 20 more seconds. Just worship Him. God, we want you your will be done. Your kingdom come. Gotta be where Last time. For your glory. I'll do it. The uncomfortable thing. Cause I want to see you. I want to see you. It's scary, but for your glory, I will do it. Even though I can't see clearly, I'll still do it. To be on you. One more time. No music, just the voices. For your glory.
Because of this truth, I want to see you to be on your ways. One more time for your, for your glory. I will do it. I want to see you. Tasha Cobbs Leonard. Gentlemen, please give it up for the legendary Tasha Cobbs Little.
No 
in this room as we prepare for the moment of the Word of God I believe that today that this word is about to plant a seed in your heart somebody just lift up a heart of worship that's ready to receive the Word of God
Your love is unbelievable Your love is so amazing 
don't know if anybody's like me, but when we sing songs that have words like your promises never fail or that we're in a move of God, there's times in my life where I want to sing that and I want to believe that, but in all reality, I feel like God's silent sometimes. And I see him moving in other people's lives and I'm like, God, I'm here. Are you going to move in my life? And I just think as we get closer to this Easter season, I'm reminded that there was a group of followers that were following Jesus. The man they believed to be the Messiah. The man that was going to come and save the world. And when they hung Jesus on a cross and then took him down and he breathed his last breath and they put him in the tomb, there was a group of people who thought God went silent. Who thought the enemy had a victory. But one thing I've learned in my life that God often does his best work when in my perception he's silent. Because when God let Jesus sacrifice himself, he was not silent. In fact, he went down to hell and he conquered death, sin, and the grave. And I believe today that he may seem silent in your life, but God may be doing the best work in your life. And we just need to stand on the promises of God. The promises that he's already declared over us. The promises that will never fail. In fact, in the Bible, it tells us some of those promises. In Ephesians, it says we were dead, but through Christ, we were made alive. In Jeremiah, before you were born, he knew you. In 1 Peter, it says that we're a chosen people, a holy nation. In 1 John, it says we are his children. God tells us over and over that we're more than conquerors, that you are worthy. You are loved. You are forgiven. So whatever you're going through today, I encourage you to stand on the promises of God. You may not see the victory, but grab hold to the fact that the victory has already been won. Believe it or not, we are in a move of God. And I want to jump on board of that move. And wherever you're moving, God, I say I want to go with you. So I encourage you, whatever you're walking through, they're going to sing that through again. You may be walking through a battle. You may be walking through a struggle. But grab hold and say, God, I believe in your promises. I trust in your word. And I walk in the move of God. Come on, with our hands lifted high, can we just declare, miracles happen, we sing. Miracles happen when In 
Audio Jungle. jungle. Yeah.